stars nil. It's a corner now to the world stars. Oh, that, that's a great goal. No denying that. And it was a very straightforward header in the penalty area. Murat Yakin. And Australia will be very disappointed to concede a goal from the set piece so early on in the game. We're in the 10th minute of the match. Let's take a look at the corner. No one picked up the run from Yakin. And he perfectly placed that header in the top right-hand corner. Well, that's just schoolboy error, isn't it? Nobody was picking up anywhere. Yakin's a big boy. In fact, there's uh, several big boys in this World Stars team, but they'll look on Bosnitz's face, says it all, doesn't it? Total disgust. Can't believe it. He scored the second goal against Iran at the MCG. Aurelio Vidmar. The five changes from that lineup, incidentally, tonight for Australia. Zelic takes a shot! My word, that was quite brilliant! Ned Zelic has equalised for the Socceroos in the most emphatic manners. And the goalkeeping change for the World Stars. It's Jorge Campos' first touch and he's had to bend down and get the ball out of the back of the net. But no one could have stopped that one from Zelic. It was brilliant. Well, he was given just a little bit too much room in midfield, but just look how far out he was. And that is world-class Paul Wade. I think this was created, and you can't see it there on your screen. What a strike. Look at the ball. I think that's what's deceived Campos. He's not a big goalkeeper. The ball doesn't move. If the ball spins, let's see how much it moves. Yeah, moved fractionally in the air, deceived Campos, and he went down. As I say, he's not a big swing away from the goalkeeper. He can drive him in low. He really does have it all. He's got great engines. He can get up from one penalty area to the other so often. It's not funny. Zelic here. Emerton, what a beginning this would be. Brett Emerton. Well, that is an entrance that he will never, ever forget. Ned Zelic at the heart of it with the pass through, but Brett Everton, what a beginning to a football match such as this. And Zelic with that delightful little clip ball through. Everton took it on the chest, got it under the goalkeeper, and that is a great moment in any career, let alone a 20-year-old. Well, Leonardo did it in the first half, didn't he? The little chip, but Brett Everton kept him, he's cool here. So often it hits the goalkeeper's legs and goes out for a corner. He knew exactly where the goalkeeper was, kept it low. Ball did the rest. Oh, and a chance. Playoff games to try and get into the Premier League, and that was a big disappointment for such a big club. Emerton on the ball. Zelic, that's a clever pass. The flag stays down. The ball's pulled back, and own goal. But a goal nonetheless for the Socceroos. Javier Vargas, the Chilean, just pulls the goalkeeper back to his feet. Both disappointed, I'm sure. But it was a great move by the Socceroos down the right-hand side. Getting him behind the defence. And no answer in the defence. And Zelic again. What a game he's had. That was a five ball. It was pulled back superbly. Vargas came in and put it past his own goalkeeper. Well, I don't know, but that might be Kevin Musket's very first touch of the game. And what a touch it was. Again, simple. Get the ball to the byline, cut it back, and then let's see what happens when the ball gets into the six-yard box. Campos, not a very happy man. I think the colour... Varela there. Had a chance to really make a name for himself like Brett Everton did when he came on as a substitute. Maybe that's why Empoli were relegated. Oh, that's a great goal from nothing. There was no angle there whatsoever, and it's Winton Roof for the New Zealander. 
what a great moment for him because he was going to have an operation on his shoulder but he just delayed it so that he could make the appearance in this game tonight and line up with some of the world stars i don't think he's i don't think he's hardly touched the ball since he's been on but he got behind his defenders there now you know why the Socceroos were blessed to have him playing in Germany and not for the New Zealand national team. Zelko Kalak selling himself a little bit too early there. Tried to anticipate the shot instead of standing there. I'm sure he'll be looking at the video thinking, why didn't I just stand and let him beat me instead of 